هاي للكل سو اليوم الفيديو كتير مميز مقابلة جدا مميزة مع رئيس الأعمال في يوتيوب روبرت كانسل طبعا هو ما بيحكي عربي لهيك هاي المقابلة رح تكون باللغة الإنجليزية فرح نسأله أسئلة جدا مهمة أنتوا ببالكم هاي الأسئلة وكتير من اليوتيوبرز أصدقائي ببالهم هاي الأسئلة كمان فجدا جدا بشرفني أن أستضيف روبرت كأول امرأة وبنت بالشرق الأوسط وشمال افريقيا وبكل العالم بمقابله حصريه فكثير كثير بيسعدني هذا الشيء فهلا رح بلش احكي بالانجليزي رح تكون في ترجمه شغلوها لحتى تفهموا الفيديو سو روبرت ام سو هابي اند اكسايتد تو هاف يو هير اونستلي اند نو مور ذان مي اند لايك بينج ذا فيرست فيميل يوتيوبر تو انترفيو ايفر لايك ان ان ذا وورلد اتس سوتش ان اونر اونستلي اتس ا جريت اونر فور مي ثانك يو سو يو ار فروم مالاي I'm from Detroit, and here we are in Dubai, sitting together in the day of the launch of the YouTube space, the first YouTube space ever in the Middle East and North Africa. I'm so happy, so excited. How do you feel? I feel just like you do, and <laughs> uh, and it's uh, it's such an honor to be with uh, you know interviewed Thank by you. someone like you, you, who is the number one YouTuber in uh, in Mina Thank for you. us, and uh, you know doing it in like less than three years. It's it's amazing. Thank so you. you're an inspiration to a lot of other folks. Thank you. All right. You traveled around the world and you've been to a lot of places. What makes the Middle East special? What stands out in your mind? Well, for me specifically, it's the food. Oh, I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I, I love the food. But uh, I'm sure that's not what you're asking about. Yeah. Um, I, think, uh, I think the Middle East is incredibly visual whether it's in photographs or in video. It's a very, uh, like if you come here, you, you notice the colors, you notice, notice the designs. So I think visualization is like in the, in the culture. Uh, so that's one piece. And the second piece is, I think comedy is really big in the Middle oh, East. Really? Yes, <laughs> yes, there, yes that's there are true. so many comedians <laughs> uh, that do so well over here. So I think people like to laugh and people yeah. like to be entertained. Yeah, more so than in other places. That's true. I do comedy videos on my channel. Yeah. You need to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos, all Robert. Right, all right, we're, we're friends. Where's my phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we sit and we think about YouTube and how far like it comes, what I want to know: what's your favorite moments on the on the platform? Well, for me, for me, they happen actually off platform with the YouTubers. Right, because part of my job is interacting with people like you. Yeah. So my favorite moments are when I'm in different cities around the world having, um, you know, whether it's lunches or dinners with a bunch of really accomplished YouTubers and just hearing from them about the things that they like about YouTube, the things that they think we should improve, and just hearing mm -hmm. from them and seeing their stories, seeing, the, uh, seeing their life journeys and their professional journeys. To me, that's my favorite part. Then when I'm watching them on YouTube, I know all the background about them, and it, yeah. it's just so cool to see. And and I think I think one one of real, actually one of my favorite moments on YouTube last year was um, um, Casey Neistat's video, uh, which was called "Do What You Can't," which was yeah. so amazing because it was truly the story of YouTubers, yes. right? That they uh, overcome. Uh, people discouraging them from what they should or should not do and they just overcome it all and, and like make it all happen and it's just it's like an anthem for youtubers yes. so that was really my uh, truly my favorite moment I agree I love Casey Neistat Casey if you're watching I love you and I'm doing a collaboration with you soon she asked me for your phone number but yes, I didn't give I it yet <laughs> <laughs> but you will you said he said he will so <laughs> being a youtuber especially in the Middle East is a unique like a unique career What's your advice for us to keep growing uh, in this career, in YouTube, as a career? Sure. So, one, I have to say that over the last five years, yeah. the growth that has happened here has been incredible. I, when I visited for the first time, and I visited pretty much every year ever since, yeah. but when I came for the first time, we had two YouTubers with uh, one million or more subscribers back then. Wow. Two only. Two. Uh, now we have over 200. 200. I, you're being the leading one, but <laughs> in general we have two, uh, two over 200, and that's amazing uh, that it has grown 10 times. Yeah. And one in four are uh, women. 
yes. which is also amazing. Yes. So there is something in the water here that uh, makes people be really creative and, and that a lot of people follow them uh, very quickly. Now, I remember that whenever I come and I ask people, what you, who are you producing your cotton for? Are you doing it for people in your country? Are you doing it for people in the region? Or are you doing it for the world? And most of the time, they say it's either for the country or for the region, right? Mm -hmm. That they're not really producing for the world. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's very unique uh, because lots of other YouTubers are producing for the world. Mm -hmm. But I think it is, it is actually special to have focus on a region because you know every region has some specific nuances, things they care about. And the YouTubers who produce for them, I think are connecting a lot more to it. And what's happening, the region on its own, is growing very rapidly on YouTube. Yes. So I think I think they'll continue to grow just by by the uh, regular engagement that they have uh, with their video uploads. Or not they, you. <laughs> 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 and, uh, well, I'm asking for um, yeah, of course, uh, yeah. all the YouTubers. But, but, so I, you're but right. I think you know it's it's kind of hard for me to give advice to people who have been growing so rapidly because they're doing it so well. Uh, so, so I think uh, I think you guys are pulling on all the, the right levers to build your audiences, and and I think maybe uh, maybe this year will you know one of you guys will exceed 10 million subscribers. You know, maybe yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> inshallah. Since we talked about careers, I have um, a question. It's a serious question, and uh, a lot of the Arab YouTubers have it. Can you please? So we always ask ourselves, why? Does or do the YouTube, the American YouTubers or um, YouTubers in Europe makes more money than the YouTubers in the Middle East? Because we do YouTube because we love it. We invest in YouTube. We love yeah. YouTube. But again, money is important. Like we're taking it as a career. So and we know that the YouTubers in America or in Europe makes more money. So why is that? And is that going to change in the future? Sure. So. The best way to think about it is, it all depends on where your views are coming from, okay. and what is the health of the advertising uh, advertising market on the internet in that country. Um, so, United States, you know, you talk about American YouTubers. United States has a very robust online advertising um, market. So, the 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 prices. Mm -hmm. And the number of ads being sold in the United States is higher, oh. per, you know, per thousand views, etc. And literally, it varies from country to country in all countries in the world. Pakistan, we're earning very little. Mm -hmm. Saudi, we're earning more. And so it all depends where your views are coming from, mm -hmm. and then it all blends together, mm -hmm. and that becomes uh, what we call your revenue per thousand views. Mm. And uh, so the RPM, we call that. So yeah. RPM may be higher in or is higher in the United States than it is in MENA. It's higher than it is in, in Western Europe, but Western Europe may be higher than MENA. So it all depends on how quickly uh, advertisers are moving their uh, marketing dollars online and spending them with us. And we have a team here based in Dubai that works with all of them, mm -hmm. and they're working very, very hard, and they have been working hard for five years to, to move it. But the problem is, well, not the problem, the high class problem is that you guys are really successful in driving huge amounts of views very, very quickly. Yes. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're becoming yeah. very popular. So you're running ahead of the advertising market, basically. Yeah. Um, Which but is a good thing, or? It is a good thing, because the worst thing that can happen to you is that nobody watches your content. Right, that you, you could be in a very rich uh, advertising market, but if not enough people watch your content, it doesn't really matter. Right, oh. so the the most important thing is to engage the viewers. So you and think you that's going to help in the future? Yes, it will. Uh, when you engage the viewers, advertising dollars follow because advertisers want to reach yeah. people because they need to show them their messages for their products so that they can buy those products. So advertisers do follow eyeballs. So if you're really good at capturing eyeballs, you know, yeah, the money comes. You'll, you'll make more money. Yeah, the money so comes. So it, it's just really what you have to pay attention to is when you look into your analytics uh, you know, on, on YouTube, you need to see where your views are coming from and what is the revenue per thousand in that country. And that starts giving you 
an understanding of why it's lower in one place uh, than versus another. Than the other. Yeah. Well, thank you for this answer because I'm sure a lot of YouTubers wants to know because they have it. We, I told yeah. you we have WhatsApp groups with a lot of, like I have a WhatsApp group with over 80 uh, YouTubers. So th they have this question. So now they have the answer. Since I have you here once and for Shoot. all, can you please explain what's the deal with the trending tab? Because a lot of YouTubers, they go to the trending tab and they see, rand in their opinion, random videos. And they talk about this. They're like, oh, I, wa I went to the trending page and I found this video. Why my video is not the trending page and I got a lot of views? So, so we get this question a lot, actually. Yes. And, um, and the best way to think about it is that the trending tab is really a good way for people who don't know enough about YouTube and who don't use YouTube a lot mm. to get used to YouTube. It's, it's a great onboarding uh, page for, uh, for people who, who are just not heavy users of it. So they're typically not the audience of the you know, big top creators on YouTube mm. because they already have you know, millions of subscribers who are using them a lot, who, you know, following them and watching them a lot. They're engaged. But the people who are a lot less engaged are the ones who come to the trending tab and eventually they learn more about it and then they start consuming more. They don't know what they like and what they don't like. Oh, yeah. They're just kind of getting uh, used to it all. So, uh, so we wanted to have a place where we can show them something that they're familiar with from the outside world yes. a little bit and then show them what's rising uh, on YouTube and, um, and, you know, and increase their uh, consumption in ways that's responsible and, and, and also feels good to them. And then eventually they'll find you know, the right YouTubers uh, to follow. To so it's not an expression of whether uh, a YouTuber is great or not great. Uh, like it's, it's got nothing to do with that. Uh, let's talk about me for a little bit. I've right. been on the platform for like f three and a half years, four years. And when I started, um, like I got a lot of negative comments for showing my face and my hair in my videos. For those of you watching us, um, in the Middle East, it's very rare to find a female YouTuber uh, that create content like three years ago or four years ago. It was very rare. We were like a handful of girls on YouTube creating videos and we, we got a lot of harassment for being on the platform. So my question is, what's your advice for, or um, what do you want to say for the girls that want to start a YouTube channel and uh, how they can overcome this problem? So, number one, I just want to say that, you know, your journey is amazing, Thank you know, from you. Iraq to Syria to Turkey to the United States. Thank you. And it's an incredible uh, life journey. And to see how you turn that and, and suddenly you build a business on YouTube is Thank just, you. it's inspiring to many other boys and girls and men and women all around the world because yeah. you know I'm not sure that too many people have harder odds to overcome yeah. so so I think uh, you've overcome much greater odds than comments and and I think it was your strength that probably you know yeah. uh, powered you through it when you were getting um, harassing comments so like you already had that strength built up from your upbringing and, and from your life journey but uh, on, on YouTube if you know, it, sometimes comments can get out of hand. And I think, you know, there are some, some folks who choose to turn them off. Uh, some folks who can choose to moderate them, because mm -hmm. uh, that is at their disposal, uh, which I think is a really good, uh, good option. But I think the, the you know, I, w I would hate to see anyone getting discouraged by that, because I think no matter what you do, you'll always get some segment of population that will criticize you for what you do. No matter how great it is, like there will always be somebody who, who will be the counter voice. And I think you're an example to all of them saying that, that they should just overcome it. They should not get discouraged by it because it's, it's not worth it. Thank you very much, Robert, for being here. It's like such an honor having you here and thank you for all the amazing answers. And uh, I don't know if you want to ask me uh, any questions. You of can go I ahead. Do. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. It's 
خايفه انا رح يسالني هو سؤال يعني خايفه اوكي ثانكس فور جيفين مي ذا اوبشن تو اسك جنيت على حالي قلت له اسالني اذا بدك تسالني سؤال قال لي ايه اكيد نو يو نو سو اوبسلي اي منشن يور اميزنج جيرني فروم عراق تو سوريا تو تركي تو يونايتد ستيتس وات واز ذا مومنت وين يو ديسايدد تو ستارت ببلشينج كونتنت اون يوتيوب It was when I first, um, like after a couple of months of me arriving um, to the U.S., I didn't speak English very well, and I felt uh, very, I felt kind of lonely. And I always loved, like, loved uh, creating. So um, I opened YouTube one day and I watched a, vi- I saw a video on the main page uh, about a YouTuber saying. Um, why I started a YouTube channel or how to start a YouTube channel. I opened it and she starts saying how she uh, helped her and she shared a lot of uh, things with her followers and they support her. And when I heard that, I'm like, I need that. I'm feeling so lonely here. Why don't I try it? And I tried it in Arabic. Start posting videos since I was in high school and now And that was it? It just never stopped? No, I, I fall in love with YouTube. I love YouTube. And that's why I do it. I told you, like, for me, it's not even about the money. It's about me enjoying YouTube. I love it. I, they know. Everyone mm. knows that I love YouTube. I love the story because it's, it's really the, uh, the sense of belonging, right? That you yeah. felt like there was a place for you to belong. Yeah. And one of the, one of the uh, uh, key freedoms that we, uh, we like about YouTube is that it's a, it's a place for people to belong, right? There are different yeah. groups. And uh, so at, at the time where you felt lonely and yeah. in a foreign land and not speaking the language, you were able to connect with your world that you came from and, and yeah. it gave you a, an outlet to yeah. for your creativity. So it's, it's amazing for us, you know, all of us working at YouTube, those are the stories that we love to hear, right? Those are the stories when we come to work that make us feel like, oh, th- it matters. Yeah, when we d- it's a great, I'm so happy to have you here again. I'm so excited and please give me Casey's number. All right. I need to film a collaboration with Casey's. He's my favorite YouTuber, so you'll help me, huh? All right. Promise? Promise? Promise. Okay, خلاص. Now we'll video with Casey. Thank you. So that's it. هاي الانترفيو, هاي المقابلة. بتمنى عن جد بسطتوا, أخذتوا answers وأجوبة ب I have to give credit to my uh, Omar designer Farouk. today, Omar Farouk. Yes. Merch. Omar Farouk, the best tabaa. Omar Farouk, Labsu, and I come on Atani Omar Wahde for come on Shukran Omar. Bijanin, guys, I put the link to him. Okay, Robert, right. let's go now. Launch the space. Right. We need to go, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.